Well, I knew Bruce from New Zealand, and Bruce was the up-and-coming young guy. Uh, and he had the Austin 7 and then the Ford 10 Special, and then he raced his father's Healy, and then they had the Bobtail and on. So I followed his progression all the way through. But one day, about May 64, Ian Young called me. He wants to talk to you. Okay. So Bruce comes on the line, and then he said, um, I'm just expanding my team. We're going into sports car racing as well as Tasman, and I need another mechanic. Would you like to come and work for me? Um, yeah, three days later, I turned up at New Malden. I'd seen some pretty rough old workshops since I'd been in racing, um, but this was kind of pretty low down the totem pole. Bruce was younger, charismatic, uh, and he was, I've always said, he was one of those guys, if he came into the workshop in the morning and said, okay, put everything down, men, we're just gonna march across the Sahara Desert. I'm sure every one of us would have said, oh, well, okay, Bruce, if you think that's what we really should do, that's what we're gonna do. When do we start? You do anything for him. He was a leader by example, and at night, um, he would stay on and he'd sweep the floor and he'd be there with you. And uh, I mean, Tyler was always saying, God damn McLaren, just go home to bed. <laughs> Tyler's favorite thing. Uh, because he would stay and work with you and he'd still get his hands dirty. And even when we're at Monaco, first ever Grand Prix, there's that picture of him down there working on the car. At the time, I didn't think it was anything special. I, I realize now that it was because it was a McLaren's first ever Grand Prix. And so it's in May 66. And I joined what, less than two years earlier. And I'd seen how far the company had come that the sports cars were in production. We'd done the X1 project. Uh, now the company's building its own engine effectively. And we've now built a super, really stiff, light uh, chassis to put it all in. And there we are, we've arrived in Monaco, towing the uh, car on a trailer. And we're still a very small team because there's Bruce, the driver, Patty, wife, timekeeper. There's Tyler as the sort of chief engineer, if you like. Johnny Muller and I are the mechanics. And Robin. So as a matter of practicality, how many famous designers have been to their first Grand Prix cars race riding along in the wagon with the two mechanics? Probably not many. But that's a, a nature of what McLarens are like. 